Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Inside. Probably inside. Oh, okay. right. Where you show? Yeah, and then it's it's your then your vision gets carried down f further. I know you've seen this already with the development mm -hmm. artwork. And is it like that? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, are you guys gonna speak in the code? So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna teach you some of my of our language. And it's easy. After all that work and all that decision, like somebody in the art department was not paying attention. Right. Uh, I'm sorry, do you have a pass? Do you have identification? Uh, okay. I'll just say your name, right? Is that okay? Yes, it works with Foster often. <laughs> <laughs> not always. This could be the first time there, well. Yeah, perhaps. We'll see you in a little while. Yeah. Try not to fall over. Yeah, I will. <laughs> so, you guys ready? Sure. Um, okay, I'm going to try my best um, to give you guys. My apology, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> oh, please don't be nervous. <laughs> if it helps for whatever, uh, be nervous <laughs> with her. No, I would say South Park. They took her job. Never mind. <laughs> oh, um, here's, if there's anything that helps when it comes to nerds, uh -huh. um, you know, we love what we do. And we, we were very, very similar. We found how much we have in common because we're both artists okay. who have strong opinions and visions, you know, of who we are. And one of the reasons, one of the amazing things about Agnes is that she has a, a, an amazing grasp of um, the music first, and that's her passion, and how she wants to express and voice her music to the world. And, and her music is an expression of herself. And so once you get that, that's the primary artist to artist. Everything else is like, <laughs> we can joke about it. Yeah. And, everything. and then we, f we fight for the artistry. Thing. But um, we want everybody around us to be relaxed because we need to, we do the same thing. We get in, we get into our work, but then you have to relax into your work for it to be great. Mm -hmm. yeah, so true. We're, just, we're just two people hanging out here yep. in Jakarta. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Yeah. You are in Jakarta right now. I am. I know. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> they have no idea. Yeah, they have, they no, have no idea. Should yeah, I tell yeah, them? Yeah. Should I tell tell it in Indonesian language yeah, so you yeah. will understand? No, no, you jadi, it, yeah. jadi lucu. Jadi pada saat lagi kita uh, rekaman uh, Sarah Love You Bara Life, itu kita the first few hours, jadi, uh, apa beberapa jam pertama kita kan pasti ya kita konsen apa segala macam fokus dan setelah uh, rekaman udah selesai we watch South Park karena hmm. <laughs> itu jadi emang orangnya ternyata emang sangat sangat uh, lucu dan sangat relax jadi sama sekali nggak ya benar-benar down to earth dan buat aku itu yang bikin aku sangat senang kerja sama sama Michael Bolton so I said exactly you know I what you want I to trust, say I trust you with your, with your lives. <laughs> But how did it all began with you um, collaborating? How did it start? Did you who, who was the first person who? who I think it was spoke? Jim, was right? It? it was from Sony. Jim. Uh, yeah. Wow, he's done a lot of behind the scenes work. Right. Good. <laughs> yeah. Um, someone at Sony got in touch with us, and, and um, I was in there f uh, finishing my record, and I was doing an international version, a North American version. Um, a different version came out in Portugal, a different version is coming out in, in Germany. I have good news for you, though. I'm, okay. good, I'm good luck. All right. Sometimes. <laughs> Most of the time. Um, and um, I had the opportunity to, to meet with Agnes at the studio, and um, I would just really hit it off. You know, we're, and I think that's probably something I was hearing in, in your description. And I think that... Um, you, you tend to think that people are going to be um, unapproachable or uh, inaccessible if they've had a lot of success. But when artists meet artists, all of that stuff is, is, yeah. is out the door. It's what do you have in common? Right. What do you connect about? And, um, and we had a lot of common ground. And then... They took her <laughs> My kids were, were, were the best. <laughs> I mean, I hadn't had that much laughter since, I mean, 
We had so he's, much he's fun. Amazing. We had, he's an amazing friend and amazing and artist. So. But we also worked late. <laughs> like we worked hard. Yeah. So nobody, you know, nobody understands when they hear the final product, the end result of all the work, they don't know um, how we approach it, step back, listen to it, yeah. say, you know, I'd like to try this and go back at it. And next mm -hmm. thing you know, it's two, three, four in the morning. Yeah. And uh, I won't quit when I see her commitment. I see the commitment of a, of a great artist. Um, my respect is, is there. It's so important to me. The work ethic is so important to me. Yeah. So, talking I, about I guess being we're not disciplined. Quitting. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's good. It'll, yeah. it'll rule. It'll rule the day, though. Yes. At the end of it. Yeah, yeah. being yeah. disciplined and perfectionist, <laughs> as he is. <laughs> but what makes you? For her. <laughs> what make you assure that um, Agnes is the perfect one to work with for your album? Well, I wouldn't say I. I was sure until I heard her voice, uh, because we could have worked on other songs, and we could have started from scratch and written something mm -hmm. together, mm -hmm. too. Um, and I wasn't really 100% certain what we were going to do, but she loved Said I Loved You Better Live, mm -hmm. and then she just killed it, just nailed it. And then, see, when, when I listen to a record that I am emotionally connected to as well as professionally connected to, um, I can be protective of that body of work and right. say, oh, I don't want to change anything. I don't even want to change my own voice, even though I think I can sing it better now than 15 years ago when I wrote it, you know, when I produced it with Mutt. And there are things that you can be guarded about. Right. But when somebody makes it feel better, a light goes on. You know, you just go, oh, like that. You make the little notes, I make the little scratch notes under the line, four, you know, three minutes and 12 seconds into the song, this variation she did. That just was um, spontaneous, and she was bringing it to life in her own way, and that was renewing my excitement in a song that was already a part of my mm -hmm. career, you know, and, and around the world, um, the song is you know known a certain way. So, I think you also have to you have to have a confidence that other people are going to respond to it the way I did in the studio, and that was the beginning of me feeling 100 percent. And we worked on it, and she's a dream to work with. She, will, she won't quit, which is <laughs> like me. So between the two of us, we have to be thrown out of the studio <laughs> to finish anything. But, but it's going to get better. It's not the kind of um, uh, stubbornness of not right. quitting where you, know, you just keep working and working, and it's never good enough. It's that we work until we finally realize that it is good enough. We set right. the bar high. Right. And that's the mantra out here, by the way, is good is the enemy of great. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. It is, definitely. Well, uh, for Agnes, how mm. did it feel to finally work with uh, such a, I guess, a legendary in the music business? Wow. So you're 100, you're, that's what they said. <laughs> they turn 100 and go, you are magic. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's so amazing because um, I would have never thought at the first place that I, you know, that I would be sitting right here with Michael Bolton and actually share a lot of things in common. And that's just, you know, a whole other journey for me, you know. And to be able to talk with Michael, not just an artist to another artist, but actually from a friend to, to another friend, that's, that's even like more amazing for me. Because he's always been so supportive, like really supportive uh, for my career. Um, in Indonesia and also and also internationally, and you know he's been giving me a lot of advices, you know opinions about um, really? yeah yeah <laughs> what he thinks about you know what he thinks about me and my music, and and he's what I really respect from him you know other than the music, is that he's always been so honest with what he feels towards me and my music. And that's what I need. Like, I don't need a yes ma'am or yes sir, you know, people. You know, I need someone who can actually tell me what I'm lack of. And he definitely <laughs> can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. My, my job was to say yes ma'am. <laughs> yes ma'am, yes, yes, whatever you say is right. You're brilliant. And yes. he's, like, totally down to earth, like, as you can see right now. I mean, he's just... 
he's 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 amazing. He's you are amazing, he's Michael. Do you he, realize that? He, 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 <laughs> not everybody understands oh, that. Yeah. Well, they will. Yep. After, after this, probably. yeah. After this, start Google South Park. South, South Park. Park. They, 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 uh, yeah. Five million views. <laughs> I'm not big as a bus. No, 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 I'm kidding. No, no. Oh, oh, it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's going to be. That's very funny. Uh.